Nearly all energy for life on Earth comes from the sun, and since only plants can convert sunlight into energy, herbivores like Triceratops consume the plants and digest them to liberate the energy in their cells. Predators consume the herbivores for that very same energy. When predators die, other creatures, scavengers, insects, and bacteria consume them, depositing nutrients in the soil and the cycle starts all over again. Too many predators, too many herbivores, or too few plants can cause a ripple effect, which upsets this delicate balance and can lead to mass starvation and death of animals and plants in the environment. The relationship between sunlight, plants, animals, earth, and atmosphere is called an ecosystem. The ecosystem modeled in the Be the Dinosaur simulation is based on specific fossil formation in modern Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, and Wyoming. It contains simulated animal life with artificial intelligence and virtual digestive and muscle systems, plant life with different patterns of growth and nutritive value, realistic terrain in a simulated atmosphere where virtual odors drift on digital winds. Think about how each aspect of its environment, other animals, plants, earth, and air would have affected a dinosaur's behavior, the way in which it lived its life, and explore Be the Dinosaur, Life in the Cretaceous.